Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I have just watched the 2020 release of Ouija Blood Ritual. That is not a mainstream movie, it is uh, another Dustin Mills. Dustin Mills, if you don't know, is the guy that, that uh, produced Slaughterhouse Slumber Party, which can be summed up with... Um, Get me some women, get them naked, and get them fighting with pillows, and then they all get killed. Alright, so Ouija Blood Ritual surprisingly has no nudity. So it's only like that film in that it is a horror movie. Uh, you see this this incredible image here has really nothing to do with the movie. What you have, it's a found footage film where there are a group of uh, three people, and they're out there going, let's tempt fate, let's go poke at the supernatural, and create a web series about it. So, that's what they do, and of course, at some point, they find uh, a real bugly, real ugly bugly out there, and the real ugly bugly goes out there and messes with them. And, you know, this film is getting a... 3.9 on IMDb. It is actually a much better film with that. I think it deserves at least a 6. It is a solid... I mean, I'm going to grant you that found footage is kind of a low bar. And this is kind of a silly genre. But it's really done effectively, is this film. And it kind of just gets into you and it makes you have that kind of a feel to it. I mean, I'm not going to say that it terrified me or that I was scared or even that I got chills when I was watching it, but when I watched this movie, I enjoyed it. I looked at the story narrative and I thought, you know, this is a pretty well done movie. It looks exactly like I would expect a movie of this quality to look on the big screen, except for the fact that Instead of having Hollywood fake people, you've got actors that look like real human beings there. And, I mean, you know, it also does not have a cast of strictly white people. Which, I mean, I'm not saying that really makes a huge difference, but it's good to see a movie with something other than, than white people in it. Because that does get a little stale. So yes, uh, well done movie. You know, nice little film. I can't say there's a huge amount to it, and I don't want to spoil anything. But again, this film was good enough so that it actually got the wheels in my head turning, and I am working on a project, a found footage project with a filmmaker friend of mine now. So um, whether or not that's going to come to any fruition, we don't know, but... Yeah, Ouija Blood Ritual, if you can find this thing, uh, it is apparently available on Blu-ray. I don't know how much that is. Uh, I don't know if there's a streaming service that also has it. I mean, a friend of mine had a copy, but... Mm. That's, that's kind of the thing when you watch these obscure movies. Like, I remember I went and I saw somebody had a digital copy a file of a, a film called Pop, and it's like, yeah, okay, that's a great little short film, and, you know, can't find, can't find anywhere where anyone could see it, so can't really review it. But this thing is definitely viewable by the public. And again, you know what? It's not a super wonderful horror movie. It is just barely the kind of film you put on your watch list. But hey, you know, indie films are kind of my jam. This film is my jam. I enjoyed it. The acting was good enough. It was not stellar. It was not incredible. But these people can act. It's reasonable acting. You believe them. You live in their world and they live in yours. And that's the thing. Is This looks like a film of something that can happen. You know, it's a uh, child of the Blair Witch. But hey. You know, I enjoyed it. It is a little slow at times. I mean, it takes a while to get there. But not a bad film at all. Definitely put this on your watch list if you uh, happen to run by it. 
Mr. Mills, I'm beginning to enjoy your work, so, uh, you know, keep up the good work. Uh, maybe drop me a line next time you make a movie. I'm Richard. Oh, greetings, humanity. Did you know that Richard, the man in this video, will spend his own money to remove trash from the ocean for every thousand subscribers he gets once he is monetized? Yes. And you can, you can help. You can help by liking and, and commenting on this video and of course subscribing yourself. And you should do that. Or else I will come to your house and do unspeakable things to your cheese. Yes.